the lack of affordable, accessible housing for disabled people has been at crisis level for many years. Soaring house prices have only continued to make the situation worse for many disabled people who find themselves in situations of poverty. Access to a decent home is a fundamental human right protected in some of our international agreements. I acknowledge that the government last week made some announcements to progress the building of new homes and to create a fund for some of the infrastructure around those new homes. I have been strongly advocating, in fact you may have heard me on the media several times in the last week, to ensure that disabled people are central to the considerations around those new builds. I would like to see the universal design standard target that Kayanga Ora have set for new homes to lift from 15% to 100%. In a country where 24% of our population are disabled and we have an aging population, why would we not future-proof our new housing stock by creating universal design in all of them so that many more homes in New Zealand could be made accessible? As many of you know, it's estimated that 2% of our housing stock is accessible, yet only yet one in six people require some form of modification to their home. Government at local and national level could encourage and require universal design as part of their funding and procurement policies. These are the sort of levers that I think are needed. This would result in homes suitable for most people with only minor modification required for disabled people. Homes need to not only be accessible but be part of an accessible environment so that they can be part of the community. Local government has a really key role to play in making sure that their communities are livable for everyone. And we know that in New Zealand, not all our cities are as accessible for us as they could be. Affordability, as you know, is also one of the other barriers that disabled people face in accessing the housing market. And those issues are across the renting market, the purchasing to buy a house market, and social housing. Affordability is a real issue. But even if you can afford to buy a house, because of the accessibility issues, many disabled people can't even buy their way out of this situation. Disabled people also need to have access to the right support to maintain an independent home. That's really important. If government or local bodies really want to embed human rights thinking into their work around housing, then they should look at the United Nations Special Rapporteur on the Right to Housing's project called Make the Shift and to the recommendations made in her report when she visited New Zealand on the access needs here in Aotearoa. The shift is a new global movement to think of homes as places where people can live in dignity, raise family if they choose, and to participate in community. Essentially housing is seen as a human right rather than a commodity where wealth is concentrated.